The president broadcast his voice repeatedly in an effort to reveal the truth to his citizens and soldiers. However, the central government, now run by the vice president and his generals, censored all of it, calling it enemy propaganda. And Yuktubania, their enemy, wasn't about to stop fighting either. The president needed to enter the capital himself with his marine force. But that meant risking his life. As he boarded the helicopter, the president smiled and said, Here goes. The third encrypted message from Bartlett came shortly after. This time, there were no coordinates. All it showed was a time and a radio frequency. At the appointed time, everyone gathered in front of the radio speaker. Hey, it's me! Get the wax out of your ears and listen up. We found Nicanor, the leader of Yuktabania, and we broke him out of prison. This war wasn't his doing at all. Captain Bartlett has rescued Prime Minister Nicanor of Yuktabania. He plans to attack an airfield in northeast Yuktabania, steal an airplane, and then escape with the Prime Minister. First, go to the directed area and wait for contact from Captain Bartlett. He'll likely have you support him as he forces his way into the airfield. More mission details will be supplied to you upon arriving at the local airspace. Threat status in the area of operation is unclear, so prepare your flight for the possibility of threats from both the ground and the air. Captain, which plane should I use? We're launching with this formation then? Rosgrees, launch! It's me. I'm okay so far. And the car's hidden under a bush. Other Resistance members are hidden all over the place. I still got a bad feeling about this. We're storming the gate at 0705 hours. Keep us covered. I'm counting on you. I think there's gonna be an ambush waiting for us. According to Captain Bartlett's information, the Resistance has already infiltrated the airfield and is currently awaiting his arrival. The road to the airfield is covered with checkpoints and defensive positions. We anticipate stiff resistance. Provide close air support for Captain Bartlett's charge, give him aerial reconnaissance as necessary, and guide him to the airfield. The Resistance has already agreed on a time to begin operations with Captain Bartlett, so the timing of the mission cannot be changed. If you do not arrive in time, the Resistance will be suppressed by the airfield defense forces and the mission will end in failure. After arriving, the Resistance will load Prime Minister Nicanor onto a captured transport plane and Captain Bartlett will attempt to escape. You must help Captain Bartlett arrive at the airfield on time, no matter what. This is Heartbreak 1. The jailbreak tour starts here. We're counting on your escort from the air. I'll be witnessing your bravery from down here, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Um, is there someone else in the car? Me? <laughs> I'm mystery woman number one. Swordsman, engaging! Edge, engaging. Archer, engaging! Box two, box two! There's a fork up ahead. You have two choices. Take the shorter way and face heavy attacks, or take the safer route, which takes more time. Hey kid, which route looks better to you? Should I take the shorter one? Okay, I'll bust through the shortcut. 
told me all about you guys. Kid, Chopper, and... Uh... <clears throat> Nagase. Hey, Nagase. Caselli, is the Prime Minister all right? He's regaining consciousness. They injected him with some kind of drug. Have the Ocean planes penetrated this far in? He hasn't changed. We have to keep the Resistance safe! That car is like a fighter jet blowing down the road. Here you go. 
That's quite a strategy. Busting right through the middle. That's Bartlett for you. Don't turn sharply like that. We're gonna fall out. Kit, you take care of providing top cover. I'll shoot him. Take the wheel. Okay. Airfield operations will begin in four minutes. Incoming aircraft. Looks like bad guys to me. It's the 8492nd. 
Ah, the long-lost Belkin Grabok Fighter Squadron, huh? The 492nd Squadron, or the Belkin Grabok Squadron to be more exact, has been annihilated. Yuktabanian Prime Minister Nikonor is also safe. Mission accomplished. He had returned once more. He brought Nikonor 
the Prime Minister of Yuktabania with him, and surprisingly, he had brought one more person, a female recon major in the Yuk army, the one who broke his heart 15 years ago. It became clear why nobody could find him in the POW camps. The very first POW of the war, he had escaped before they could even get him into the camps. Yuktibania's situation was just like ours. Their leader, who espoused reconciliation, was imprisoned after a silent coup d'etat and the country proceeded to march right into large-scale war. What should I call you? Just Major. What's your real name? <laughs> All she did was return a smile. She remained faithful to the Prime Minister and to his vision of peace. And that faith had brought her here. She was carrying a single disc. She told us that the disc contained the secret plans of the Belkin Grey Men. So far we have been unable to decipher the encryption code. The Solg, a military attack satellite that your country began building during the war 15 years ago, then abandoned in the peace that followed. The Arkbird was reborn partly to resurrect that dreadful star. Now, even after the Arkbird was destroyed, the Space Center's mass driver is still launching supplies into orbit. What is that star receiving from them? Thank <laughs> you.